Hey there guys, Winio here. Anyways, this weekend I wasn't able to upload a vlog because, well, yeah, I was busy celebrating a friend's birthday and I wasn't home for like the entirety of two days and even then when I did get home it was late and I didn't want to film a vlog, so I figured I just uploaded two episodes of everything this weekend, kinda, but um, overall it went out better than expected. I didn't get much feedback, but oh well. I guess if you guys aren't saying anything at all, then you're either not watching or don't have a problem. So I'm going to bring up a topic today. One is my waffle story. Well, it's not really a waffle story, it's a pet peeve. Don't you hate it when someone takes an odd number of waffles? An odd number of waffles? I mean, honestly, that fucks up the pattern for everyone else getting waffles. Because waffles always come in evens. Because everyone always eats two waffles. Whoever that fuck face is that eats one waffle... That's all I can say to them. I wish that there was a way to make it so that that person would eat another one waffle. Because with the uneven number, what are you supposed to do? You just got... You got an uneven number of waffles now. So if you eat twos then you, you, you can't eat three. Well, you could eat three, but here's the argument against that. Most toasters only have two slots, but I guess if you had a four-slot toaster like I used to have, then maybe you would be able to work out eating three waffles to even out the pattern again. But even then, that's a little bit much effort, don't you think? Like I said originally, everyone only eats two waffles. I mean, there's never, like, any prerequisite to wanting three or one. I mean, jeez, who does that? Assholes, that's who. If you're a subscriber and you only eat one waffle, I'm sorry, but I got bad news for you. You need to basically stop that shit. Here's another topic I'm bringing up. I wish my vlogs were more of sit down and I talk like an asshole. Not, and hold on before I explain that more. Basically, because you don't know me that well, you don't know what that means. Trust me, it probably means something entirely different than what you think it means. But basically, I wish my vlogs were more casual, where I could just sit here and talk for like 15 minutes and then have it all done and done. Like, talk about my day and stuff like that, but I feel like that's not what people want. I feel like you guys want like major cuts and jokes and funny stuff but unfortunately that requires work people and I know I know it was me who initially said well I want my vlogs to be a mixture of scripted and me talking about my day but I don't know it's weird it's just something that's been floating around in my mind for a while Maybe nothing will come of it, maybe something will, maybe my vlogs will be longer, but I won't be cutting or doing crazy editing skills or anything anymore. I don't know. I wish they didn't take so much effort to basically have to upload after I film it, because then I have to edit the entire thing and make cuts there and make cuts there. It's just annoying overall. I wish basically I could be a lot more casual of a vlogger, but I don't know. Why break the pattern now? Or I could break the pattern now because it might actually be a good time to. I don't know. Either way. So I also have a lot of shit coming up in the month of May. Um, a lot of LPs that are happening behind the scenes right now. Um, a lot of LP planning happening behind the scenes right now. Um, and in general, it's just... I'm going to be busy... I know I'm going to be busy one week out of, one weekend out of May, where I most likely won't be able to vlog, or I might be able to, I'm not sure, but, um, odds are, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically, uh, try my hardest to, um, I guess not be that busy within May, but unfortunately May is already looking like it's going to be a very busy month full of days where I'm missing vlogs and I'm just like, oh, I'm sorry I didn't miss the last two days and just a bunch of shit like that. 
Also, I'm not sure when we're doing Diablo 2 because there's a lot of planning going behind that LP, but nothing coming of it. And that sucks. That really does suck. It's It blows hardcore. But um, right now it's looking like there's nothing I can do about that. It's just... It's difficult to find people for that LP because no one owns it. And it's like... <sighs> people these days. Like, I own Diablo 2. I have for a while. It's all on my Battle.net account. And then there's these assholes who I try to get in my LP, and what do they do? They're like, oh, I don't own it anymore. It's like, well then, do something about that. And also, why does Blizzard still charge $10 for both the base game and the expansion? That seems a little ridiculous, doesn't it? Like, let alone the expansion costs as much as the base game now. That makes no sense. The exp it should be like 10 and then 5. Like, most expansions go for half price of base game anyway, so... And note, I'm talking expansions, not DLC. But, yeah, it's, it's weird. I don't know. It's an odd way of looking at it. Basically, I don't think Blizzard should be charging $20 to play Diablo 2 again. And I also don't think that people should throw away their CD keys back when Battle.net 2.0 was introduced. That was just stupid of you if you did that. Me, I kept all my CD keys and I put all that shit in on day one. So, I'm glad that I no longer have a need of having like a bunch of fucking Blizzard discs all over the place. Also, in other news, I've been looking for a collector's edition of Diablo 3, but like no one supplies it. Like, Amazon, like, sent out shit, and they were like, well, you know, it's coming, you know, you can pre-order Diablo 3, but you can't pre-order the Collector's Edition right now. And it's like, why not? And then, lo and behold, like, today, or yesterday, or something, a bunch of Diablo 3 copies for Collector's Edition showed up on Amazon. But they're all for, like, $200, $300. And Blizzard's saying you're only supposed to be charging, like, 100 base price for the Collector's Edition. So then... <laughs> These people that have Collector's Edition already pre-ordered from other places are like, alright, well I'm going to charge double on Amazon, or even triple. And it's like, way to inflate the economy, dude. And even then, the only place I've been able to find that supplies it is Best Buy. They still have pre-orders open. But, like, GameStop, you go there, you're like, hey, can I pre-order a Collector's Edition of Diablo 3? They're like, sorry, we're all out. How are you out of pre-orders before a game's even released? That seems kind of ridiculous. Like, you don't even know how much your store's gonna get. So why would you say you're out? Uh, maybe I just don't understand the GameStop way, because even then, I don't like GameStop in the first place. I think it's a terrible company. But, I don't know. It's weird. But, yeah. Anyways, it's probably gonna be it for today. I ranted about some stuff, and I honest to God did not plan for this vlog to be this long. So I will see you next time. This has been your host, as always, Wayne Hill. And yeah. Yeah. Your word of the day is shebangin'. Which obviously spelled S-H-A bang in with just apostrophe, N apostrophe. Basically, shebangin' means, um, well... Basically when it's cold outside and you can see a girl's nipples basically through her shirt, or basically the act of protrusion of nipples is basically what shebanging means. So like if you see a girl walking on the street and lo and behold, uh, she's giving a peep show to everyone, basically you just say she's shebanging. She is indeed shebanging.